IVF is in vitro fertilisation, which is um, our ability to assist people trying to conceive who can't conceive naturally. We know currently around one in six couples are going to need some form of assistance to conceive. And we know that there are a lot of reasons behind why people need assistance. Women are delaying childbirth to much later in life. Also, as a society, we probably are becoming more unhealthy. Uh, obesity is a massive issue and does have significant impact on fertility for both men and women. And obviously as well, there are other issues such as cancer treatment that might impact on fertility. I mean, it involves a lot of different aspects of treatment, everywhere from us trying to induce ovulation um, all the way through to us growing embryos in a laboratory um, for placement back into the mother and also other varying aspects such as pre-implantation genetic screening as well where we're able to diagnose chromosome errors or specific genetic disorders within the embryo so we can put back the healthiest embryo that will hopefully result in the healthiest baby. I currently have two different research arms. One of them is a clinical based research arm where I'm really interested in improving IVF outcomes for patients, improving the technology we use and also some interest around clinical trials with new protocols um, for IVF. The other arm is a more basic research arm where we're looking into answering the bigger questions around infertility, why, why people are infertile and also how we can optimise the technology that we use to have the healthiest children born from IVF that's possible. Really my research is trying to improve pregnancy rates with IVF. So currently it's about 17% of IVF cycles have a live birth. So it's really quite low. There's a lot of patients who don't get pregnant. So it's trying to fix that and trying to make pregnancy rates a lot, a lot more successful through IVF. And then of course we also want to try and make the children that are born from IVF as healthy as possible and equally as healthy as, as children that are born from a natural conception. So it's trying to make the, the process that we use as natural as we possibly can. So probably one of the proudest moments that I have and some of the research that was involved directly here um, at Repromed was the bringing in of a new type of cryopreservation protocol that changed our pregnancy rates from around 20-25% per embryo transfer cycle up to over 40% per cycle. So that seeing that direct translation and that direct tr uh, improvement is really fantastic. My name is Dr Deirdre Zander Fox and I'm the Scientific Director of Repromed in Adelaide and also Darwin and I'm also a Visiting Research Fellow through the University of Adelaide's Department of Obstetrics and Gynaecology.